Hi, I'm Abby. Welcome to the Revival News today on Friday the 13th. I hope you all have a blessed day. I want to start with some of our updates and reminders. The first reminder is the CLI Student Graduate Rally in the East Coast is coming up very, very soon. So if you have not signed up, please do it ASAP so we can know that you're coming and have accommodations for that. As well, if you are signed up, remember that you can get your awards half off with that code that we have emailed. If you don't have that email code or anything, you can email Rhonda at rsullivan at christianleaders.net. Also next week, we're going to have another special news episode. As some of you probably saw on the network, and I have the photo with Vanna here, Vanda here, she came and visited, drove all the way up from Kentucky. I was blown away by her, had such an awesome time. So we did a couple of different videos with her. So we're going to kind of combine the best of all of it and give it to you guys as special news next week. So be looking forward to that. Also, we ordered larger sizes of the apparel, so for those of you that have really wanted apparel and we've been holding off because we weren't sure what we were doing about the size, um, we now are hoping very soon to get it released, hopefully next month. So look forward to that as well. I next want to share with you a video from Irwin. I've been chatting with Irwin for um, almost the whole time I've been working here at CLI and I have enjoyed getting to see how God has grown him. When we were first talking, he was just studying. Now he started a ministry, an online ministry, which he's going to share about, that last month when I was talking to him had 20 members, and now already this month has 40 members. So over to Irwin's video. God called me to be a pastor on January 2013, just before the birth of my second son. I was clueless on how to go about it. I asked around but nobody gave me an advice that was useful for me. And then I prayed and asked the Lord for guidance. And it was two years after when my wife and I encountered Christian Leaders Institute online. Little did I know that this online medium is where God will use me in His vineyard. CLI gave me an opportunity to have high quality education and training that helped me develop as a pastor. In fact, it was this year only, year 2017, that I was ordained as a pastor through CLI as well. I was so impressed, also impressed by the lecturers, and I fell in love with the Bible because it brought me near to Jesus. It is such a joy for me to tell you that CLI equipped me to open my own ministry. Patotoo ministry. Patotoo is a Filipino word for testimony and it was the gospel of Mark chapter 5 verse 19 that inspired me to showcase the wonderful works of an extraordinary God in the lives of ordinary people. There is such an anointing in this ministry that we have most of the members experiencing miracles in their lives. You can access their testimonies in our website at www.patotoo.com. I encourage each one of you to continue learning with the help of Christian Leaders Institute. I am confident that you will find God's purpose in you I should delve into his word. Thank you again, Erwin, for sending that in. I very much enjoyed getting to see it, and I hope all of you enjoyed seeing it as well. Next, we are going to go over to my dad, who's going to share, I had shared a little bit about it last week, a little bit more about our monthly giving match. So over to you, Dad. Thanks, Abby. I am impressed with Vision Partners. Not only you graduates, but outside the Christian Leaders Institute graduate circles, there are vision partner contributors. This couple came forward and said, look, we are so excited that students are making monthly contributions that from now, that would be last week, October 4, all the way to December 15th, that if any student makes a monthly gift, we will match that first gift. 
already almost $500 has come in by you students and graduates in that first gift. And this vision partner is partnering with you vision partners to even bring more ministry contributions so that we can provide more classes, more opportunities, reach more people everywhere on the earth. So I just want to encourage you all to think about your gift. What you're gonna do, maybe God has called you to make a monthly gift and know this, that first gift amount will be matched. Praise the Lord. Abby, back to you. Thank you, Dad, for sharing more about that. I'm enjoying getting to go through, look at the new vision partners, putting them on a list to send to this generous donor uh, to let them know about what their work is doing with this match. I wanna end today talking about Samuel Smith. Samuel had been emailed by us about the upcoming road trip in the East. He used to live in that area, and so he responded saying, you know, I, I can't make it. I'm in Uganda planting churches. And I responded to me like, whoa, wow, I'd love to see some pictures. That's really exciting. Completely understand why you can't make it to our Eastern road trip. Um, you will be missed, but we love getting to see what you are doing in Uganda. So here's a couple of the photos he shared with me, and I want to share with you guys some of the local kids and just the setup of the church it looks so quaint and i love seeing that the gospel is being proclaimed there in uganda and churches are being planted and once again the word of god is going forth samuel has also completed a lot of courses with us, taken 34 credit hours, and has uh, lots of different certificates and diplomas. So awesome work, Samuel. Love seeing what you are doing for the kingdom of God. Um, thank you for blessing us today with having your story and photos to share. I hope you all enjoyed our news today. Remember next week, we have the interview with Vonda Kay coming up, so tune into that. I hope you all have a super blessed weekend now.